Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of English Unlocked. I'm Alex, and today we have an exciting episode lined up for you. We're going to explore everyday English for real life situations. Whether you're at work, home, or out in public, having the right phrases and vocabulary can make a big difference. Hi, listeners. I'm Olivia, and I'm thrilled to be here with you. We'll cover practical conversations you might encounter daily and give you tips on how to handle them confidently. From small talk at the office to asking for help in a store, this episode is packed with useful language skills. Let's start with conversations at work. Whether you're working in an office or remotely, communication is key. Common interactions include greeting colleagues, discussing tasks, and participating in meetings. Yes. And it's important to use polite and professional language. For example, when greeting a colleague, you might say, "Good morning. How are you today?" or "Hi. How was your weekend?" In meetings, you'll need to know phrases like "I would like to add that" or "Could you please clarify what you mean by that?" These expressions help you participate actively and show respect for others' contributions. When discussing tasks. Clear communication is essential. You can use phrases like "I'm currently working on" or "I need help with" to keep your colleagues informed about your progress and needs. If you need to ask for feedback, try saying, "Could you please give me your feedback on this?" or "What do you think about this approach?" This shows that you're open to suggestions and willing to improve. Small talk is another important aspect of workplace communication. It helps build rapport with colleagues and can make your work environment more pleasant. Topics can include the weather, weekend plans, or recent events. For networking, it's useful to have a few conversation starters ready. You can ask questions like, "How did you get into this field?" or "What do you enjoy most about your job?" These questions can lead to meaningful discussions and connections. Now, let's move on to conversations at home. Whether you're talking to family, friends, or roommates, clear and respectful communication is vital. Common topics include daily routines, household chores, and personal updates. When discussing chores, you might say, "Can you please take out the trash?" or "I'll do the dishes tonight." Clear agreements help avoid misunderstandings and keep things running smoothly at home. When making plans, use phrases like, "Do you want to go out for dinner?" Or let's watch a movie tonight. Being specific about time and place can help ensure everyone is on the same page. For personal updates, you can share things like, "I had a great day at work today," or "I'm feeling a bit stressed about work." Sharing your thoughts and feelings can strengthen your relationships and provide support. Interacting with people in public, like in stores, restaurants, or on public transport, requires polite and clear communication. When asking for help, use phrases like "Excuse me," "Could you help me find this item?" or "Can you tell me where the nearest bus stop is?" In restaurants, you can use expressions like "I'd like to order the chicken salad," or "Could I have the check, please?" Being polite and using please and thank you makes a positive impression and ensures good service. When using public transport, knowing how to ask for directions is useful. You might say, "Which bus goes to the city center?" or "How do I get to the train station?" Clear questions help you get accurate information. Also, be prepared to understand and respond to instructions. For example, if someone says. Take the second left. You should be able to follow those directions confidently. When shopping, you might need to ask for specific items or assistance. Use phrases like "Do you have this in a different size?" or "Can you help me find this product?" Being clear about your needs helps you get better service. In case you need to return or exchange something, you can say, "I'd like to return this item," or "Can I exchange this for a different size?" Knowing these phrases can make the process smoother. Sometimes you might encounter problems or need to make a complaint. 
Use polite but firm language, such as I'm sorry, but there seems to be a mistake with my order or I'm not satisfied with this service. Clearly stating your issue helps resolve it effectively. Always remain calm and respectful, even if you're frustrated. Phrases like, could you please help me resolve this? Or I'd appreciate it if you could look into this matter show that you're seeking a solution, not just complaining. Socializing and making new friends require conversational skills, too. Start with common interests. You might say, do you like to read? Or what kind of music do you enjoy? These questions can open up more in-depth conversations. Don't forget to listen actively, show interest in the other person's responses, and ask follow-up questions. This shows that you value their input and enjoy the conversation. Understanding cultural norms is also important in communication. In some cultures, directness is appreciated, while in others, it's better to be more indirect. Learn about the cultural nuances of the people you're interacting with. For example, in English-speaking cultures, making eye contact and using polite language is important. Phrases like excuse me or I'm sorry are used frequently to show respect and consideration. Let's address some listener questions. Our first question is from Leela in France. She asks, how can I improve my small talk skills at work? Leela, practice is key. Start with simple topics and gradually build up your confidence. Remember, everyone appreciates a friendly chat. Great question, Leela. Our next question is from Raj in India. He asks, what should I do if I don't understand someone during a conversation? Raj, don't hesitate to ask for clarification. You can say, I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Or could you explain that in another way? This shows that you're engaged and want to understand. Improving your conversational skills takes time and practice. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, they're part of the learning process. The more you practice, the more confident you'll become. Remember, communication is a two-way street. Be patient with yourself and with others. Keep practicing, and you'll see steady improvement over time. We hope you found these tips for everyday English conversations helpful. Clear and confident communication can make a big difference in your daily interactions. Thanks for tuning into English Unlocked. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. Your feedback helps us create better content for you. Until next time, keep practicing and refining your English. You've got this. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to our podcast and leave a review. Follow us on social media for more tips and fun English lessons. And don't forget to check out our website for additional resources and practice exercises. Keep practicing and see you next time on English Unlocked. Bye.